This is uh, race one on Saturday, December 3. And big group here near the committee boat. He's spaced out, uh, there's a little space in the middle. Leftmost boat, 3760, the sorcerer, that's Fred Breaker at the pen. Uh, right up here are 3916, looking really good. Don't know who that is. 21, uh, is that Malcolm right there, or uh, 2109? Also looking good. Oh, the boat, 3916, they were over early. Still don't know who that is. That is Malcolm, though, that seems to have taken the start here. 1587 is also doing well, and it's 58 uh, Freedom. Uh, most of the fleet's still on start, but it's going to attack off and go underneath. The skipper should be sitting to windward. It's not that light that the skipper should be sitting to leeward. The jib is out a ways, they, uh, and they're, they're healing. All right, let's take a look at uh, 50. This is a uh, uh, triple handed here with Brad in the middle. So uh, Malcolm is tacked and, uh, and heading all kind of by the right by himself. The rest of the fleet, for some reason, is continuing on starboard. They're just starting to tack out of here now. Blue Jays by cannon. They're being knocked over a little bit in a gust right there. And they're knocked over again. Uh, Brad, Freedom's still doing okay. It's both Brad's on, the racing class. Decapo going by here. Well, not a big surprise. And now, Victor is leading around this first mark. There hasn't been much in the way of wind shifts. Here's this big group coming in from the left. Uh, and this is going to be a really challenging rounding for this group here. Uh, because uh, a lot of them are arriving at about the same time. Although, these two guys should be okay. I think that's uh, Pelletieri in 403. They're going to be around okay. 2808. After that, that's uh, Adam Barry on Rigel. But here's the group coming in on port. And it looks like uh, they've got some gaps where they can tack in. As Brad and Churchill's boat tacking in now. Okay. Adam Barry makes it around. Oh, so there's a problem. We knew there was going to be some somebody was going to move on. That looks like Sorcerer. They haven't routed the mark yet. So uh, they're going to be pretty far back by the time this all starts out. And uh, Blue Jay also, Mike Cannon, he just never got out of the left and stayed in traffic. And then here's the penalty to bank for it now. So these are the last of the boats that started well and went left. Meaning both of the boats that were either did start well or went slow. Okay, here's the uh, the last boat is Eliza race class. They had a real hard time getting around the mark. They're still not around. Uh, so now the fleet is spread out. Remember, they were all together coming into the uh, first mark, and now they're spread out because of the uh, weather mark has a way of doing just that. Well, a little miscalculation. Uh, Malcolm had to make two extra tacks here that they didn't want to make. They're going to win the race anyway, but those extra tacks were costly for sure. Well, I thought they were going to win the race, but they miscalculated again and it made two more tacks. And they might have hit the mark, but I, I can't tell for sure. you got to go far enough to make sure that you land. Once again, they're coming out a little bit shy, but they'll be okay this time. So they get tripped. Back up. I thought they were going to go the starboard ley line, but they're not. Uh, there's current coming out that's wind driven partially. And so there are going to be problems here over the course of the day. Uh, wasabi's got uh, some. Possible issues here. Well, they, they do cross one boat. If they make a really good tack, they can get in here. Yeah, I think they will. Attack pretty close to Ika, and Ika is nothing. So there might have been a foul on Wasabi's part. And there's a boat that totally misplayed it. 
Well, we knew that was going to happen. That's making it easier for uh, Mike Cannon, who struggled the first time. They should be okay this time. A couple more boats till they get around the second one of the mark. Offset mark. We're coming down on uh, Port Tack. Looks like Mike Cannon picked up a couple boats. Turned this into an okay race, despite the problems they had the first mark.